Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is 50 plus perks time, but on the best zombies map of all time, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. Keynoter Toten Black Ops 1. And so as you can see, our perks are a little bit messed up as of right now. This is a quick revive, I promise. Uh, but you're going to see... Let me just quickly open up to double tap here that, yeah, we've got a couple different perks here and we are also double buying this game. We got Widow's Wine over here. It's not supposed to be here, bro. It, it's supposed to be elsewhere. I don't know why it's there, but it's going to change. And so I'm really excited for this because, I mean, we didn't do double buys until the Nocturne Toten map. And so that's why I think having this right now will be uh very very exciting on kino i mean i never usually also play kino so this is going to be a nice little change of pace i find and now quicker vibe is going to change we got the bottle right there and we got winner's whale Ooh, not bad at all again we don't have power it's not like nocturne totem where i can just literally buy everything blood wolf bite is now over here and then we have, oh my gosh, this is the cash back perk. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I mean. It is all about point maximization up in here on Kino to Toten round two. Let's pop a double points and get right into it. And so I think this will obviously take a little longer uh, just because, you know, Kino honestly has kind of slow spawns after a while. Uh, we do got another perk there, and honestly, I do have a couple of custom zombie perk uh, power-ups in here, like a free pack-a-punch and a free perk, so we should get a free perk from this. Oh, that is the incendiary brandy that was literally right there, right at the start of the game. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that is a really good pick. Uh, I'm going to pop this and then get the double points up as well. And here we go. We got raindrops. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I'm playing this like no man has played this before. We got Widow's Wine there again. And uh, oh, now this cashback perk is over here. Oh my gosh. Look at all the points. This or all the perks. This is so bizarre. Uh, and oh, Vulture Aid on Keto to Tone. There's probably another perk behind here. Oh, right here. Look at that. Pack a box is right here. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Like. It literally changes the way of how these maps are normally played. And I'm going through Alley because, listen, nobody usually comes through here. And I think that's what makes it so exciting. So, you know what? Round three power. Let's turn up Tombstone and Kino to Toten. That is things you just don't necessarily want to see. Okay, and send. So, this is the one I definitely did buy, right? Power is on now. So, let's see if I can double buy. Yes, the double buy. Fire effects last longer. You know... Let's double buy a random perk that I'm usually not um, a big fan of. Uh, because I, I did not get this double buy until way later on. Oh, and we got the Mocha Hands perk. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, oh my gosh. I just got a free pap. No way. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. This Mocha Hands perk allows me to change the power-ups. Oh my gosh, that actually helped out big time. Also, I'm going to be hitting the box. There is a special weapon in the box. I don't think I have it enabled for this run. But one of the next maps that we do... Let me know what map we do next. I think we either do Ascension or Call of the Dead. That would be sick because of the BL3 version. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Okay, you know what? Death Perception is honestly growing on me as a really good perk, especially because of Cold War, but also especially on maps that there is really long zombie spawns. Because now, I have the double bot perk of Death Perception. I can practically see where they're going to spawn in on any part of the map. It's a little bit faint, like the Death Perception is not as bright as I feel like it could be. But maybe we could get it even brighter. Also, Jug is now Swarm Scotch. This is an alright perk. Honestly, it's not the greatest, but it is pretty good. Um, we do have to keep in mind that this is definitely going to just slow a lot of spawns down. And I need to make sure we're buying perks immediately. Because if I swap the rounds, all the perks switch. And so, on a map like Keynote or Toten, that's pretty difficult to deal with. But... We also do have a Wonder Fizz if we run out, but then again, the Wonder Fizz only helps us get the base perk. It doesn't let us double buy the perk because, I mean, the way the Wonder Fizz works, if you have the original perk, it won't let you get it again 
Uh, and I mean, not just the normal way. So let's pop raindrops here. I did not want to grab that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to basically grab... Oh, speed coal is going to be good. Let's just change up as many of these as possible. Vulture, that's huge. A double insta-kill? Nah, there we go. Can I change this into anything crazy? This is such a cool perk that you can change power-ups. That is actually so sick. Okay, fire sale is going to be nice too. We do have speed cola. Honestly, one of my favorite double buy abilities is literally speed cola. I'm going to take the FFAR, bro. This is going to be goaded. Also, let's grab... Also, Stone Cold Stronghold on this mod is absolutely busted. I don't even know why, but it is just mega busted. Also, I see speed cola, so let's literally go right and get for the double buy on speed cola additional bullet damage after reloading and i had somebody clarify me uh clarified to this uh in the comments to me that even though the blue ability on speed cola goes by really fast the damage buff still stays there so like it is absolutely goaded also because i have the mustangs i can actually get phd on this map honestly i probably should have also got mule kick Expenditure exemption, a new gobble gum. If you haven't seen it, that gives me half off on the perks, which is really nice. Pack a box. Honestly, I don't really need it too, too much right now. I want to mainly look for the new custom perks that give me oh more ammo is going to be huge. Yeah, for fifteen hundred, absolutely. Stowed weapons. Yep. Oh, and double tap. Yeah, we cannot uh, pass up on this. The double tap's usually right over there. He's like, bro, I wanted a, I wanted a slightly different spot. No, I didn't even see Banana Colada. No, bro. Okay, what I was going to say, though, is we need to 100% grab PhD. Because I have the Mustang and Sally's. And, like, I need to be able to get it, bro. Um, because if I don't... Oh, there's PhD. Okay, if I don't, I'm just going to die with these Mustangs knowing me, bro. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, we haven't even opened up the main side of Keynote or Toten where people normally play. Hey, man, got to switch it up sometimes, bro. I played Keynote or Toten the same way for, like, what, 10 plus years at this point? And uh, to see that 50 perks are even on Kino is so cool. Like, this is the type of content update i wish treyarch would add into old maps as well and look at how much more ammo i have with bandolier i got 62 in the reserve on the mustangs that is mad also with the ffar you get a ton as well and you bro i'm telling you having oh bro here we go double pat lovely bro i don't even have to go to the freaking regular path i probably will just to get aats uh but that'll be later i think but first bro i need to get to phd bro 625 door there we go even just the base immunity to explosives is exactly what i need longer slide damage increase jumping from heights i mean come on bro yeah there we go and now we're totally safe from the immunity again it's interesting because there's two versions of phd as you can see i have this effect there's a phd slider in this as well from bo4 but the thing is is that phd slider I'm pretty sure only ever affects the slide ability. It does nothing else. Also, I was just about to prone there for the perk. Then it disappeared. Oh, Vulturaid. Can I double buy? It's back here. Oh, and Blood Bullets. This is honestly one of the best perks I've ever seen. It basically, like, regenerates your ammo. It reminds me of, like, those Infinite Warfare Advanced Warfare guns. Where, like, you would literally um be able to just print the ammo i think black ops 3's multiplayer i think had a weapon like that was it called like the ajax or something or the rj something like that i cannot remember what that weapon was called but that weapon was sick i honestly wish they would have brought that into a zombies map like they brought the banshee into uh revelations and the rifty 9 they should have brought that like infinite printing ammo weapon that would have been so cool like, it wasn't OP, it would print ammo very slowly, and it was an LMG, like, AR-type weapon, so it just had so much ammo, it, like, even if it would print, like, 15 bullets, like, that's not, that's not even that big of a deal, you know? Oh, is this PhD slider? Okay, so yeah, this is the regular PhD. 
See, yeah, this is just sliding. It makes you immo immune to explosive. But why would you buy this for 4,000 when the original one that I just bought is literally 2k? Yeah, I mean, that just that just does not make any sense. Um, <laughs> I was about to say, is this one alive or dead? No, my boy is dead in the wall. Oh, okay. Extra credit is going to be huge here. Honestly, I don't want to buy PhD. Also, the other PhD is literally right there. Okay, you know what? I will. Please, the double buy don't be 4,000. Okay, I was about to say damage increases while sliding and higher points. And so when I have both PhDs, that's what it looks like. It has that explet, like, it has the trail kind of like Banana Clada or Trail Blazers from Infant Warfare. And it also has the explosion effect. Like, sliding in this mod is one of the best abilities ever. Like, it is just so goaded. Plus, I don't even have all the slide perks yet, bro. Like, I, I still need to get uh, Banana Colada. I need to get, I think it's Crusader Ale as well. Oh, bro, we got shopping free. I gotta go in on this. Okay. Muscle Milk. Honestly, I always buy this one with shopping free. Electric Melees. It's really good, but like, the cooldown is not that great. So, yeah. I mean, it's like Pop Shocks as a perk, pretty much. Dying Wish. Also, very good. It makes you invincible if you go down to one health or zero health. Um, and, yeah. I, I don't find it that great on BO3, though. It was definitely better on BO4 when the game had no jug. Um, but, yeah. Also, Blaze Phase, I'm going to instantly buy as well. This is just such a cock up perk. Can charge further. I mean, if you've never seen this, it's from Black Ops 4. You literally just stand still. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. You get on fire. Oh my gosh. Wait, do I get double path from this? No double path. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, it's good, I guess, if you're camping. But that's about it. And then this Swarm Scotch perk also is not that great. It, it makes, like, a swarm of insects that will fly out and chase after somebody. But that's about it. Also, did my perk glitch? It, like, skipped a spot. What the frick is that? Why did it just skip a spot? Literally just like, bro, no, that's it. You're not getting any more. I mean, dang, okay. Why do gotta why why you gotta treat me like that, bro? That's not right. <laughs> Hope it doesn't glitch the game and make it so that all the rest of them stop showing. That would be criminal. Uh let's get stamina up though, honestly. I'm gonna have to pop this strategically because it's gonna disappear. So let's get the double points. And then, there we go. What new perk do I get? Oh, it fixed itself. I got Daminade, which is nice. Uh, yeah, stamina up here. And then, the second unlimited sprint and fire while sprinting. Yeah, okay, that is honestly OP. Like, just look at this lap. This is OP. Also, I want to buy chain shoes, because last time, I was like, I want to see its effect. I barely got to see its effect. So, you know what? I'm gonna pop this up right now, and I want to actually use chain shoes because it's basically yeah, elemental pop, but just for headshots. So I want to see if I can actually hit it. Oh, blaze face is going off. Can I get the nuke blaze face? <laughs> That's literally all it's good for. It's it's also really good, honestly, for BO4 gauntlets. Like I, I've been playing the gauntlets, and I'm actually gonna be streaming the gauntlets right now. If you're watching this when it goes live today, and uh, yeah, it's not bad for gauntlets. But honestly, when you get it as a perkaholic perk, you're just like, bruh, I don't even, even want to look at this. Yeah, we should probably also get jug. Honestly, the, I have to say the double buy of jug in this one, where you get additional health, is absolutely busted it gives you like a second juggernaut it gives you like an extra literally like an extra five hits it is genuinely so busted so honestly let's get it <laughs> let's buy it immediately um uh oh we might not have enough points here uh -oh. no, we do. is it and it's only 2000 to double buy it's not even 2500 that is mad you're basically getting a better juggernaut after you buy it for like even less like for a discounted price that's pretty that's a pretty good deal man i don't i don't deal with perks but i'm telling you that's a pretty good deal i'd take that that's a one-to-one -one buy right there okay there we go yeah get these 
Get this incendiary brandy out of here, bro. And, bro, every time when I do these 50-plus perks, I'm always like, bro, where's Quick Revive? Quick Revive is literally right here. Let's get that double buy. Oh, man. Okay, I need to get 2,000 points before this round ends. Oh, and there we go. Thank you, God. Now I don't have to worry about Quick Revive for the 900th time, bro. I'm always worrying about Quick Revive in these videos. But, yeah, the double buy for Quick Revive is definitely not as good as, let's say, like, the double buy for Jug. But it's still really good. Blood Bullets, honestly, I'm going to make the conscious effort to try and get this immediately right here. This, this, this perk is absolutely amazing. It l basically just regenerates ammo. And then if you have that stack as well, oh my gosh. Occasionally affects stone weapons and wonder weapons, dog. Like, occasional ammo for your wonder weapon is a little bit busted. Again, Victorious Tortoise is also on this map. Again, absolutely useless because there's no shield on this map. Um... And that is why BO4 has a shield on every single map, probably because of Victorious Tortoise. Because if it didn't, it would literally be useless. Um, let's see where we're getting. Another expenditure. This is probably my favorite Gobblegum to pick up while doing this. This is so odd. Blaze phase where Quick Revive is. Things you just hate to see. Oh, it's wild knowing that the pack bunch is literally right beyond this room. It's practically right in spawn, which is pretty crazy. Okay, Widow's Wine, honestly, let's get it. Let's just get absolutely busted OP here. Um, I'm going to get... Oh my gosh, what am I even getting hit by? I need to get 2,000 to get Widow's Wine for 4,000 because I got the expenditure. What's the double buy of Widow's Wine? I always forget. It's just... I think it's just more Widow's Wine drops, right? Yeah, Spider Power-Ups can drop from Unweb Zombies. And there's Swarm Scotch in effect. Again, it's kind of like this Liquifier Bullet, but not as good i feel like it's probably a really good perk maybe later in the rounds but right now i'm like round 11 probably not the greatest uh yeah luke is gonna be big here too is this also only 2k wow i can literally buy it right now that is not oh and we got fighters fizz honestly the perk that i just got the one with the boxing glove is one of the best perks ever fighter fizz if you've never run it it basically when you down, it gives you a chance to, like, get all of your perks back. It's kind of like a self-medication gobblegum. But as, like, a perk. It's really, really strong, in my opinion. Wow. Honestly, the muscle milk isn't bad, but, like, I just find it's kind of, like, kind of useless. Oh, that was change shoes right there. I was like, what the heck is that ability? So, change shoes only works if you get headshots. I wonder how that, like, works against the other zombies, though. I probably need to get, like, a bunch of zombies stacked up together. And then just try and chain the change to's effect. Because, honestly, I just don't think it's that good. Oh, we have another good point per point crusher. Can I earn additional points per kill? Potentially, this perk right here is the most broken perk of the whole pack. Because, like, it basically gives you, like, quadruple points for the rest of the game. Like, and if you get a double points power up on top of that dog, like, you're never going to have to worry about points ever again. I feel like, yeah, I don't think Treyarch would ever release that perk officially because, I mean, it is literally just straight busted. It's like having a permanent mega gobblegum active at all times, pretty much. Which, I mean, is just a little bit mad. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, let's get out of here. It's cool, though, because, like... What I love about this mod is that it makes every single ability you have in the game viable. And what I mean by that is, like, my melee is good now because it causes electricity. I can slide and do damage. I can even double jump once I get the ice cold brew perk and literally be able to do ice damage. And, like, that's just, that's what zombies is about, in my opinion. It's, like, giving you all these different options. Chance to double additional points. Like... Honestly, this double buy on this perk might be insanely busted. So busted to the point, bro. I don't even have I don't even have this area opened up in Keynote or Tone. It's so weird looking at this and the door is closed. So bizarre. Blaze phase is following me everywhere this game, bro. Heck no, man. Okay, let's hit Gobblegum here. Shopping free. I uh Honestly, I'm just gonna use this on perks that I just hate. Crusader Ale, double melee points? I didn't even realize it did that. Really? 
He also have a chance to slightly heal Riot Shield. Okay, so this is the double buy is completely worthless. But bro, like look at that! I just wonder waft. I had a wonder waft effect with my freaking melee right there, bro. That is absolutely dumb. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, and then this is Daminade, Stronger Explosives. This is honestly a perk I've been considering putting on like a map like Die Rise because it basically just gives you more uh, grenade space, which is cool because look at this. I can now throw five Widow's Grenades. I don't have five, but I would. Yeah, and I'm going to buy Victorious Tortoise. It's a useless perk. Basically just doubles your shield health, makes it so you don't take any damage when your shield is out. Honestly, I have to say, it is genuinely one of the most broken perks ever. Yeah, and then Miracle Mocha Hands. This one's also busted as well. Have I double bought every perk? Every perk except the one... Oh, that's the Tacticila one. Mule Kick I should also probably buy. Time Slip is literally one of the most goaded perks ever. Honestly, I'm building Time Slip into... Um, oh! Oh, the freaking door scared me. Oh! Bro, chill! I'm just trying to get time slip. Oh my gosh, that was actually low key a little bit of a jump scare. I was like, what the frick was that? I thought somebody was behind me or something. Nah, but time slip, we're building actually into Speed Cola on Die Rise Remastered. Which is really cool in my opinion. Like that, that makes it just so much more fun in my opinion. Uh, but okay, we also need to double buy Blood Bullets, Fighter Fizz, Tacticula Sangria. I think Nitrogen Cool too. Oh no, we don't even have this one. Uh, the other perk that makes me run with like electricity effects. Oh, and this is the double jump perk. Bull Ice Blast. And yeah, when I crouch into them, it blasts them with ice. Really cool custom perk. Like, I honestly would love to know who made this custom perks. Because I know the mod developer of this mod, Fear Reaper. He definitely didn't make all the perks. He definitely got a lot of people to make them. And so... It's cool because there's a there's a creator to each and every single one of these custom perks. It's not literally just Treyarch, you know? There's Shane Chu's effect again. That one seems to be the one I see the most. Like the blue circle effect from Chain Chu's. I don't think... Have I gotten any other abilities? I'm trying to hit heads to see if I get it, but I don't. I just don't think it's happening. Um, okay, low-key probably need to hit a Gobblegum here. Oh, and here's Tacticula Sangria. What's the double buy? Higher chance to regain ammo. A lot of the perks, I feel like, are just regenerative ammo. Like, that's why I feel like I just probably won't even need it. What am I getting from Wonderfizz here? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Oh, it's that point freaking cashback perk. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that was honestly a goaded buy. I'm going to see if I can find that one around the map and double buy it. This is Blood Bullets. Ah, uh, okay. Let's just get the double buy for this before we... Before we forget. And then where Where is that cashback one? Again, it's not a guaranteed to get the perk that you want on the map. I think it's actually over here. No? Oh, ICU is good. But honestly, don't need ICU just yet. That's blood bullets again. Nah, I just don't think it's here. Nah, yeah, change shoes is here. Dang it, okay. So cool playing this map with, like, every room has a perk. Like, I don't think Treyarch should have added this officially into the game, but I feel like if this was, like, a, a fun side mode, like, where you could get all the perks and stuff, especially for showing your friends that have never played zombies before how to play, I think that would be kind of cool, to be honest. Also, Stone Cold Stronghold on this mod pack is absolutely busted. So as soon as I buy this now and if I stand still... It makes a ring that gives me additional health and armor, just like in Black Ops 4. But on this game, on BO4, it's really terrible, in my opinion. But on BO3, like, bro, it gives me additional armor when I stand still. Plus, with Vulturade, bro, mad. Like, it would, like, this is just, it, it's too overpowered. You take so many more hits, it, it, it is literally just insane. Oh, and here's Nuka Cola. Sets off a new power up one down. Honestly, I think this perk is probably better on co-op than solo. Picking up power ups can spawn a second. Yeah, again, this one's definitely, I would say, better on co-op than solo. I feel like on solo, there's really no point because 
You just have like so many crushes already on solo, especially with all these perks. Like, it can't even be that big of a deal. Uh, Mule kick, have I not bought? I have not, but I'm too poor for it. Uh, Electric cherry, I'm also too poor for it. Oh my goodness. Bro is locking the income. Here we go. Now I can buy it if I can prone here. Yeah, let's go. What's the double buy of Electric Cherry again? Perk range extended. Yeah, honestly, I have to say that Electric Cherry in um in this mod and also in BO4 is genuinely insane. The amount of extra damage they do. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get it. Oh, dang it. When you're like 200 points shy, that is so sad. I probably should have just rebuilt some barriers before I ended the round, but whatever. I'll get it back. I believe. Also, yeah, ICU is here. Probably should get a spin on this as well. See if I can actually pick it up. Yeah, I feel like change shoes might be glitched out in this mod pack. I feel like the only... It says I was supposed to get four elemental variants when I get headshots. I've only ever seen the one with the blue circle. Oh my gosh. Bro, with Nuka Cola, look how many different per or power ups I just got with that one raindrops. Oh my gosh. I just got the magnet perk and Deadshot Daiquiri. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Nuka Cola is insane when you pop a raindrops. ICU is basically like another version of Dying Wish. It basically gives you like. It's like um, Painkiller from Modern Warfare 2, that death streak where if you keep dying, you'll come back and you'll be a little bit faster. You can shoot a little bit faster. It, it just basically gives you a lot of different speed to like come back. Uh, but on this, it's when you take like one hit health. Also, Vigor Rush, this is just double tap 4.0 right here. Yeah, I think Chain Shoes definitely is busted. Or at least I have not seen the rest of the effects. Because I've only ever seen that effect. I mean, it's it really wasn't even a good perk in IW Zombies. I don't even think it would be that great here. And yeah, I think it's balanced. I can't change the Widow's Wine power-ups into something else. I mean, that would be super busted. Zombie Shell, listen. I was talking smack about this one in the earlier games uh, of me doing the 50 plus perks. But honestly... In some BO4 gauntlets, it's actually mega good. And I'm going to double buy it. Sanding and slowdown field makes the zombies also slow. It's so goaded. Like, honestly, it's it's not goaded, but, like, it, it, it can help you out a lot, in my opinion. Also, let's pop this raindrop, see what we get here. Did I just get Jug? Oh, well, I was about to say. It looked like Jug, but, okay, I got Bull Ice Blast and then Nitrogen Cooled. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so... Honestly, again, I've, I've talked about this already. The ice perks in this are not that great. I think, except for the, the ice bull blast where I can double jump and then I just did a cold attack right there where I freeze them. That's pretty cool. Downer's Light, again, another perk I feel like would be great on co-op. Triples bleed out time, but not really good on solo. I honestly feel like that perk on solo might actually be more of a detriment than a benefit. Um, and what's interesting is that a lot of people have noted to me that this this mod pack does not have who's who. And the reason why it does not have who's who is because of the fact that who's who is basically just Cold War Tombstone. And Cold War Tombstone is on this mod pack. And Cold War Tombstone, I would say, is probably better than the Die Rise version of who's who. But for Die Rise Remastered, what we're doing for who's who is we're bringing back who's who. But we're making it so that on the specific round that you spawn in on... Also, I just got Elemental Pop. That's super nice. Does Elemental Pop with the Mustangs? I feel like it would. Or should, at least. Um, but what we're doing with Who's Who on Die Rise Remastered is that the round that you spawn in will literally allow you to basically get a new weapon. So let's say you spawn in around eight, you'll get the MSMC instead of the uh, starting pistol. If you spawn in around 25, you'll get like um, an LMG. If you spawn on like round 50 with who's who and down, you'll get the ray gun. If, if it's past round 100, you'll get like the slick of fire. Um, or actually no, if it's like round 80, you'll get the slick of fire. But if it's past round 100, what we've decided to do is actually keep the challenge of the original perk and also pack box, get a random pack box weapon from the box. I mean, that's goaded. Uh, is after round 100, we're going to give you the upgraded ballistic knives. And if you don't know what those do, is you can shoot them at a player and it will revive you. 
And so when you're in who's who after round 100, we're going to make it pretty difficult because, I mean, we don't want to make the perk busted. And so after round 100, because the Slicker Fire does not do any damage, you get the Ballistic Knife. And if you shoot yourself with it, you'll be able to come back. So honestly, I think it's like the best way to balance out the perk because I feel like Tombstone is honestly... The Cold War version is probably the weakest Cold War perk. It's really bad. I, I'm kind of surprised that they brought the perk back, but they made it so mid. I'm I'm a little bit shocked by that because in my honest opinion, it's just honestly terrible. Bull Ice Blast, perk range is doubled. Let's see how this goes. Also, can I change this? I just changed it to, to nukes like five times. Okay, here we go. So the, the, the double jump here... That is so crazy that it can just spawn in another perk. Like, I just got a, or another power-up. I just got insta-kill. Okay, Nuka-Cola might be goaded. I'm taking back what I'm saying. I did not see these effects in my last games. And that's why it's so much fun doing this challenge on different maps. Because there's so many different perks and so many different effects. You're just not going to get through to all of them. Or at least know what they all do in the same game. Ecstatic Elixir. Yeah, this is the one, again, where you run by them. And it basically just... Uh, electrifies them as you can see here chain that with the melee perk as well it's absolutely mad zombie shell can also proc there it's just ridiculous bro okay let's see what other perks i can get on the map that i don't have yeah point crusher honestly is the reason we're even able to get this far into it stem up do i not have stem oh, i do okay i was about to say it's so funny when you're getting all these like perks you've never seen before right and then, like, you just don't have, like, a basic perk, like, like, quick revive or stab up or something. I see you, I have already. Okay, I was about to say, good thing I bought it. Um, Daminade, we also have, wow, okay, I have literally all the ones on here. Except for Mad Gas Moonshine. Yeah, and then here's another sliding perk that creates an explosive. This one has a cooldown, though, because the PhD slider explosive you create while sliding. But you can see with this one, with Mad Gas Moonshine... The, the explosion happens at the end of the slide. So you're like, you're constantly exploding while sliding. You can practically like never die. And then now you get 30 per round with a higher chance of a fire effect as well. Like, and then I can chain this with bull ice blast and do the double jump ice freeze. And then literally just go like that. Like, it's mad. The tech is so cool. Like, I, I really love it. Uh, Swarm Scotch. Yeah, we've already had this. Let's chill here. My man, Argoose. What's good, man? I honestly did not realize that the Argoose is in the spot on Kino. I legit had no clue. I kind of wish they brought back the original BO1 weapons, but it'd be what it'd be. Elemental Pop effects happen more often. I mean, why would I not want that? Honestly, I think Elemental Pop is probably one of the best perks introduced ever officially by Treyarch, but... Um, yeah, in a game like BO3, this perk would be, like, it's just so overpowered. Like, I I'm telling you, like, with these many perks, I've said this before. If you down, you deserve to down. There's so many ways to come back. Oh, extra 10% cash back as well right there. Oh my gosh, I was absolutely busted. Did I double buy Stone Cold? I did, yeah. Stone Cold is honestly worth a double buy. Winter's Whale, oh, I need to buy this here before it goes away also like the fact that you can have jug stone cold stronghold winter's whale and widow's wine with the double buy of jug giving you an extra five hits is absolutely madness that is way too overpowered dog double buy pack a box yeah i mean this is good on honestly this was really good on a map like the world at war maps the pack a box because it's just it's just hard to get path weapons regardless. Uh, okay, I think I have all of these perks. Downer's Delight, I have. Yep. Okay, we are getting really close actually to finishing up all 50 perks. I honestly don't know which perks I don't have. What I do know is that I don't have the double buy for everything except Electric Cherry, the magnet perk that brings the power ups towards me, and um, Deadshot. So, I mean. Not that I'm really worried about that, <laughs> but, like, we gotta get all of them. <laughs> Not that I'm worried that I don't have a double buy of Deadshot Dacry. Oh, no. The world is gonna fall apart, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I was on stream last night, and I think we're... Oh, no, this was probably two days ago. 
And we were just talking about how, like, Deadshot has got to be the worst. Per like, Black Ops 1 Deadshot specifically has to be the worst perk in all of Call of Duty Zombies. Like, there can't be anything worse than BO1 Deadshot. I know some people might be like, well, BO1 Double Tap. But I'm like, man, BO1 Double Tap at least did something. BO1 Deadshot on PC is actually useless. Like, it, it, it makes your reticle smaller. But but at what cost, man? Like, it, 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 it ain't worth it, though. Let me tell you. Okay, Jug, we have. Double Tap, we have. It's weird getting two perks that are normal here. Vaultrade up in the spawn is also very bizarre. I have zombie shell fully done as well, right? Yeah. Oh, blood wolf bite. We don't. We definitely don't have. Bro, Luna in the gauntlets on BO4. If you've ever done that, bro, you gotta shut your mouth. I'm trying to get Luna in the game. It is honestly one of the best perks ever. And there it goes. Already spawned in my boy Luna. And yeah, I realized I thought he spawned in when you take a certain amount of damage. No, Luna spawns in when you, when you do a certain amount of damage. Also, here's Deadshot. Additional headshot damage. I mean, how does this even stack with a perk like Change 2s? Because Change 2s, I think, also does more damage. And yeah, one Blood Wolf Bite is double bot. I didn't realize this is also in BO4. You get, like, little mini power-ups like that. That's really cool, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so yeah, Double Buy Mule Cake also gives you the weapon permanently when you come back, which, I mean, is really good. Let's see what we're missing here. Dying Wish and Bandolier. I believe I have both of those. Tombstone, I definitely don't have. It's funny how I normally never buy Tombstone. Tombstone is, unfortunately, glitched out in this mod. I have it. I had it bug on me last time um, when I was playing. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's Tombstone. It, it's always going to have a negative connotation for players, even including myself with the dank tombstone remake. <laughs> I mean, I probably should say for Noah J, bro. That video scarred that man. That's just so funny to me, bro. Okay, we only need two more perks. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea what these perks are. I probably could hit them from the Wonder Fist. Wait, do I have blood bullets? Yeah, I have blood bullets. Um, we also still need to buy the Magnet Perk and Electric Cherry. Those are the two I'm looking for. I don't see them, though. Nuka-Cola. Uh, Ecstatic. Oh, no, that's Nitrogen Cooled. Yeah, it's cool, because I'm, like, actually remembering these perks. And it's funny, because it's like... I just wish Treyarch added something like this, because this, to me, this mod feels more Treyarch to me than what they even did in, like, Cold War and Vanguard, where you, like, buy the perks multiple times or you upgrade the perks multiple times. I just felt like in that game, it, 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 like, I think... Now, hear me out here. This is, this is a philosophy that I've talked with other zombie YouTubers about. It's better to progress in zombies in the game and always start from zero every game, right? Than to have progression be in the menus of the game. Every game where progression was in the menus, people didn't like. Black Ops 4, Black Ops Cold War. I mean, people like Cold War, but it was probably the best iteration of what I'm talking about. Vanguard as well. Also, we just got Banana Clada and Ethereal Razor. I think that is literally all my perks. It's a little sad because I don't think Ethereal Razor stacks with Widow's Wine. Or maybe it does. I can't tell. But, like, look. I have the original knife. I'm going to buy the Bowie knife, actually. And see if it stacks. Because I think if you buy the Bowie knife, it probably doesn't stack as efficiently. Let's see here. Oh, no. It still, it still stacks. I just think you don't see the Ethereal Razor effect. Because, yeah, I'm one-hitting the zombies on round 21 with the Bowie knife. Like, this should not be happening. So, this is both the Widow's Wine upping the melee damage and also Ethereal Razor. I want to double buy Ethereal Razor, though, and see if it does any more. But I don't think it's on the map. So, we got to end round. Also, I'm going to TP here. Let's double tap the FFAR. I also wonder, does the perk allow me to double tap? Also, wow, time slip is just so goaded here. Look how fast it comes out. Like, it's even faster than the animation can play. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, turn. Yeah, we'll take. Um, and then, yeah. I guess not. Uh, let's just look around the map with Voltrade. This is why I love Voltrade, bro. You can literally... S I can see the dang future up in here, bro! 
Uh, okay. I think we have to go to the right side of the map. From what I saw on that left side, there didn't seem to be anything there. Oh, is the reel here? Nah, the reel isn't here. Dang it. Okay. Also, when I come back, the PhD effect procs. That's pretty funny. Yeah, the PhD double buy effect, I think it's the regular one, not the BO4 one, just the Cold War version. It's just so goaded. It is literally so good. Um, but yeah, I literally, I think, only need four more perks now. Those four being Electric Cherry, the Magnet perk, Ethereal Razor, and Banana Colada. I've been seeing Banana Colada a lot throughout this game. It's just too bad that I didn't double buy it. Uh, let me just make sure I've double bought absolutely every other perk. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah. This is why I like the double buys on this mod. It's su that's such a great idea. Like, honest Oh, Banana Colada. Hey, perk damage is doubled. And I mean, bro, I'm telling you, look at this. You literally can never die while sliding now. They get distracted. They explode multiple times. I can freeze them with Bull Ice Blast. Like... And, and then, that wasn't even Bull Ice Blast. That was Winter's Whale right there. And there's Bull Ice Blast. My gosh. Like, you'll literally never run out of abilities to use. I just got a perk power up. Okay, and that confirms that I have all the perks. My gosh. Like, bro, I'm, I'm going to activate the trap here. I'm literally just sliding to take them out. That is so ridiculous. Like... I guarantee you, probably with this mod pack, you could probably get round 100 simply just sliding. No weapon, sliding round 100. Now that is a wild thing to think about. That is genuinely wild. Okay, perks are swapping up now, so we should have a chance now of getting our last three perks. Oh, we needed Mule Kick too. I didn't buy double eye Mule Kick, so it's four perks now. Magna Margarita's right here. Power up some twice as fast. There's one of our perks. I see Electric Cherry also all the way over here. I usually get really good luck in terms of getting the rest of the perks that I do not have. And so, honestly, I'm pretty impressed because, I mean, yeah, we're about to get it literally right here. Let's go. You see. What's Electric Cherry again? Perk range damage. Yeah, that is so nice. Yeah, I remember not being able to get it because I didn't have enough points. Uh, yeah, I mean... This is just busted, bro. Like, the amount of just damage I'm doing. Bro, I even activated chain shoes just by hip firing. Like, I'm activating perks by accident at this point. I think there's just too many. Uh, there's too freaking many. So, we need Mule Kick. Too bad it's not in its original spot. And the last perk I think we need... Is it just Mule Kick? Yeah, we got Electric Cherry, the Magnet perk, and Deadshot. It's literally just Mule Kick. Oh man, never in my thought, never in my life, I thought I'd be stressing over Mule Kick like this, bro. Um, okay, Raindrops is honestly a good perk to get. But yeah, unfortunately, we literally have to wait until Mule Kick spawns back into the map. And I don't see any green symbols other than Speed Cola. So you know what? Let's, let's get through this round. I love Kino because of the traps, man. Being able to just pop all these and... Get through the map super fast is just so nice. And, oh, okay, so it's also when I pick up a nuke that it specifically spawns in more power-ups. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, Nuka-Cola busted. And then you combine that with Miracle Hand's Mocha? Oh my gosh. Also, does the turret work with insta-kill? I guess it does, right? So if you're- if I keep switching these to nukes... I'm just gonna keep getting more. Oh my gosh, this is so busted. This is so busted! It literally just keeps spawning in power-ups. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is mad broken. You can probably get around 100 with this mod mega fast. Like, absolutely mega fast. Oh, I forgot. We also need Ethereal Razor. I don't think I saw Ethereal Razor. We also have a dog round, so I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna hurry. Because I do not have a lot of time. Yeah, we need Ethereal Razor and Mule Kick. Those are our last perks. Tombstone we've already got as well. What's over here? Quick Revive, Banana. Dang, getting a little unlucky today. Usually I get them like pretty much right on, right on bar. Bro, I've been seeing too much Blaze Phase, let me tell you. Mm, a little bit too much Blaze Phase. Elemental Pop I have too, yep. 
Uh, let's just keep going. The magnet perk is back. The point crusher perk. Yeah, I'm literally, it's just mule kick and ethereal razor. I have literally, I think, only seen ethereal razor once this entire game. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've seen it another time. But here, let's, let's just wait and we'll run back and check. We gotta get it eventually. I mean, how many, like, how many perks are even spawned in on the map? This has to be, like, 25 plus, so... I mean, the chances of me not getting these perks would be so low. But, I mean, knowing me, I'm definitely one of the most unlucky gamers ever. PhD Slider, yeah, I was one of the first perks we got. Speak Cola, bro, you're in the Mule Kick spot, bro. Give us Mule Kick. You're in the wrong spot, my gamer. No, 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 no. Oh, I saw another green perk, but that was it. Stamina up we've got as well. Downer's Delight. Yep. Yep. Winter's Whale and Ecstatic. Oh my gosh. Am I really getting this unlucky? Ain't no way. Oh, that has to be Mule Kick up there. I saw something green. Victorious is over there. What is this? Deadshot? We've got it. Hey, Mule Kick. Let's go. Returns lost per weapon. I mean, yeah, that to me is very much busted luna it's time and now the very final perk we need is ethereal razor unfortunately this is the perk that i honestly have to say i've seen the least i genuinely don't know where it is that's widow's wine over there yeah i think we gotta go literally another round dang yeah i don't even know what this perk looks like because the perk in bo4 doesn't even have a specific perk machine so this perk machine is going to look a little bit uh, bizarre, let me tell you. Give me new. Oh, give me new. Give me new. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny that you can just freaking change the round like that. Can I hit? Okay, I can't hit Wonder Fizz for it, obviously. Shopping free, baby. I'm literally activating all the traps of this. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, this is truly... The definition of Keynote or Toten gameplay right here. This is... Is it really Keno if it ain't like this, man? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, honestly, like... If they had a mode like this that was canon on BO3, like, and anybody could play it on consoles or whatever, I would love to literally know how high of a round people would be able to get with this. Like... It would probably be so busted, especially with ultra rare megas and all that. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. Legit can't even can't even fathom it. Bro, I'm turning on this turret at every waking second, bro. Let's go. Oh, I've literally gobble gummed out. Go, baby. Also, yeah, bro, Bandolier Bandit here with Mustang and Sally is so nice. Okay, for sure. We get Ethereal Razor as our final double buy perk. I'm looking at all my other perks. I'm pretty sure we've gotten all the double buys for them. So Ethereal Razor, it's just you, my mans. We're looking. So that's Vulture, that's Nitrogen Cooled. If I don't get it, honestly, after uh, next round, I think, I think I'll just call it there. But 26 ain't bad. 26 ain't bad. We got Incendiary. Oh, I see it, Ethereal Razor. Hey, let's go, man. GG's, bro. Hiding in literal plain sight. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this is a BO4 regular perk machine. Increases melee damage further? How does that work if I, like, literally can't see it, though? Hold on. Where where would that even... Okay, it actually would be really good to test this in a barrier. Can I get them, like... What's the range? Okay. That's still pretty far. It's further, but not by much. And I think it's only with I think it's only with this offhand swipe. But yeah, the fact that meleeing on this mod at round 26 is actually viable is mad. Like this is just dumb. And then winter's going off. And then I get ice bolt blast and slide. Like this is, What the frick is this, bro? This is mad. But ladies and gentlemen, this is is keynote or totem with 50 plus perks let me know what you guys want me to do for the next map of 50 plus perks because you guys have been absolutely loving this series and so ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys would like to see i will end the game there it's been an absolute pleasure ladies and gentlemen thank you again so much for coming out and i'll see y'all
in that actual baby. 